thing is, Controller, you've spent all your money on American TV shows. But those American TV salesmen are so persuasive. I go in saying I'm not going to buy anything, but I come away with Frazier, Friends, and Ali Bill. What am I going to do? I've got whole evenings to fill. Look! Whole hours! We can't just leave the screen blank. Well, there is one way of filling some of it. You mean? Well, he is very cheap. <laughs> Hello? Eight shows and a Christmas special. Hang on a tick. Hey, fellas, it's Gary, the controller of Channel 4. He wants us back. What do you say? Yeah. 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 We'll do it. Then the four melons burst open and these embryonic creatures jumped out of Carol Vorderman. Come <laughs> on. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or as I prefer to think of you, low-life scum who never done a decent day's work in my life. I'm Barry Gossie, but now let's have a nice big warm welcome for the affable Aff and Pincher himself, Harry Hill! <laughs> It's all over the front page You give me road rage Racing through the best days It's up to you, you're making me crazy Think that I may be losing my mind They say road rage, fast late Minimum wage, home late, up late Sealed, 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 sealed The caterer's there! Some papaya, some papaya, some papaya, some papaya, some guava, some guava, some guava, some seeds. Silver service, it never leaves you, eh? Shall I go up to a vegetarian with a Venus flytrap and go, look, he's a plant, he eats meat, explain that. What's your problem? Eat the sausage, eat the sausage, eat the sausage. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Horse Whisperer. Horse. <laughs> well, the Nan got her hair caught in the knitting. Oh, yeah, she got her hair caught in the knitting and ended up knitting herself a balaclava she can't take off. <laughs> and I think if I was a dog, oh, yeah, if I was a dog, I think I'd sit like that. Oh, yeah, one paw up. <laughs> one paw up like that, because I'm one of the clever ones, see? I figure one paw up. I'm more likely to get a biscuit, aren't I? <laughs> Hobnob! Hobnob! Horse! Hobnob! Horse! Hey, little girl, what's your name? Where are you going? Oh, you're a father. I do beg your pardon. Twelve! <laughs> she looks older. Well, they've got swords and shields. They've got swords and shields and bows and arrows and, oh, they're firing the arrows into the sky. Oh, the excitement of the Bayer Tapestry. You can always see something here. <laughs> oh, it's a cliffhanger in thread. <laughs> a wiki-wah-wah. -wah. A wiki-wah. A wiki-wah-wah. -wah. A wiki-wah. <laughs> bourbon. <laughs> bourbon. Horse. A bourbon. Horse. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I'm well. Right, if you decide to turn over, I'll do your front. <laughs> That's all very well, but is it entertainment? What's wrong with Jon Snow that he don't sit down to read the news anymore? What's up, John? Piles or something? <laughs> See you, Dr. Mate. <laughs> Gary Baldy. Gary Baldy. How do balloons work? One minute they're small, the next minute they're big. And when you open them up, they're empty. My big brother Alan. <laughs> if it's too hard, I can't understand it. Hey, Harry, you know our pound shop? Everything in the shop a pound, the pound shop, yes. How much are the scissors? <laughs> hey? The scissors, how much are they? They haven't got a price on them. <laughs> they're a pound. Pound? Yes, a pound. Everything's a pound. It's a pound shop. It's a sort of utopia for people who have got a pound to spend. 
All right, then, how much are the pegs? A pound. A pound a peg? No, no, no sets of pegs a pound. Well, there's 24 pegs in each set. That means each peg is 4.16 pence each. We don't sell individual pegs. The sets of pegs are a pound. Everything's a pound. It's a pound shop. <laughs> Anyway, if you're here, who's rehearsing up the badgers? What is this space station badger thing? Well, it's, you know, it's one of those science fiction things, you know, where everyone goes like... <laughs> what, like this? <laughs> That's it. It's set in the future after a scurf epidemic. Scurf? You know, the scout condition that's spread by crows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gareth Southgate badger's written it. You let Gareth Southgate badger write it? Phil Jupiter's is the star guest. You got Phil Jupiter's? And it's taking the place of the finale. It's taking the place of the finale? It's the only way I can get them on board, Alan. Face the facts, the owls were a flop. Them birds bombed. I realised after the last show, I needs them badges, Alan. Well, where do I fit in? Ah, well, I want you to arrange all the woodland creatures into alphabetical order. <laughs> So that if the space station badger thing goes belly up, we cut straight to the woodland creature's ABC song and save it that way. <laughs> You'd better get down that grooming bay. And Alan? Yes, Harry? Lift me up. <laughs> hmm. Harry is so very funny. If only I could think up some comedy jokes and be famous. <laughs> the man walks into a pub. Oh, no, it's no good. Come on, think, Alan, think. Uh, all I ever think of is sealed. <laughs> oh, Pant, if, if only you could help. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's it. Pant, Hant, Hampshire. <laughs> I say, it's a good thing there's not a place called Pampshire, because then its abbreviated name would be Pants. That way, people would be living in Pants. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Pants. Oh, oh you little beauties. <laughs> I'd rather be liberated. I think we should have to read Bab and Gilly, a bear, or Loch Loch, Dalarin, Loch Christine, go, 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 So then Tom Jones goes, well, I met him once and I didn't think they were that manic. And Mark fell off his chair. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I must have the wrong flat. I thought this was the space station badger rehearsal. What the hell is going on? Sorry, Mr. Harry, I was just telling one of my never mind the buzzcock stories. Yes, well, we require a bit more discipline on this show, Jupiter's. <laughs> Shandy Bass in rehearsal? <laughs> You're not so never by the woodcock now, you know. All right, keep your hair on. <laughs> Listen, Mush, have you read the script to Space Station Badger? It stinks. I'm sorry, Governor, I didn't mean anything by it. That goes for all of you. Mr. Phil don't know his line. Oh, great, David Beckham Badger. Well, is this true? We had a late one last night. Lemmy took us all out of the Samaritz, and when we were there, we met the ghost of Phil Litter. Silence! There's no time for your Don't Rock the Shamrock stories now. If you don't know your lines, you'll just have to read off cards. Can I read off cards? No, you can't. <laughs> You better shape up, Jupiter, or I'll pour that rotten shandy all over your shoes. <laughs> that goes for all of you. Get it wrong tonight, and that's it. So, anyway, Faith and Step, she brings one of five with her, you know, all I like. They're completely mad. And while we were there, the Nolans turned up, and the Nolans had a big bucket full of fish heads. I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a very strong show so far, Mr. Harry. Oh, thank you very much, too. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that jaunty character, though. Oh, he'll grow on you. Well, I'd like to meet him sometime. Well, we thought we might encourage you to write your questions in for Stufa. Yeah, write your questions in. <laughs> and we'll see if we can come up with any answers. And to kick us off, uh, here's a letter from regular viewer and friend of the show, Bunty Hoven. <laughs>
That's it, Stufa. You help. Who writes? Dear Harry, some cats have been known to do tricks. Tell me, Harry, does Stufa do tricks? What, you mean apart from talking? <laughs> you know. Yeah, I do tricks. Uh, have you got my cards there, Mr. Harry? Yeah, here they are. Look. Okay, Harry, now I want you to pick a card. Now, put it back in the pack. <laughs> well, now, I'll give them cards a little shuffle here. Uh, Let's see if I can still do this one. <laughs> yeah, they threw me out of the magic circle, you know. Why was that stupid? Well, I'm a cat. They don't have cats in the magic circle. Well. <laughs> the magic circle. Now, but here we go. Was that your card, Harry? Now, that's magic. <laughs> Respect you. Good evening, I'm Jon Snow. <laughs> and here is the... Oh, goodness, still painful news. The main headlines, Claire Short announced as the new Doctor Who. And Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart of Unit gave us this reaction. We here at Unit are thrilled that Claire Short is taking over as the Doctor. And we bought her this cut glass bars as a present. can't keep anything nice around here. And it seems there's been a bit of a problem at the Brit Awards. We go now to our reporter, Fergus Walsh. Yes, Johns, we understand a fracas has broken out between Pulp and Jamiroquai. <laughs> it resulted in Jarvis Cropper leaving the soft play area over there, pulling JK off his climbing frame and then resuming the fight on the bouncy castle you can see behind me. We understand that Doctor Who is on her way. Ah, here she comes now. She's intervening. Back to you. <laughs> Jimmy Dodger. <laughs> Jimmy Dodger. That's all from me, Jon Snow. Good night. Coming up after the break, fine pink mints, Phil Jupiter's, and episode one of Space Station Badger. Coming up.